The call Star Guy, and it's story time with a student who's a transfer. So this particular student is transferring from a Division Three school to hopefully a Division, another Division Three school that he likes, or another Division Two school that he likes, or another Division One school that he likes. Now, I'm going to be frank with you. I'm currently still working with this student. We have not been successful yet, but we'll find the right place for him. The point is that in his case. He has a dilemma because we really have to work very quickly in the transfer portal to find him the right place. And going from Division 3 to Division 2, like, is really unheard of. Now, I'm the college soccer guy, and I want to be the first to kind of break that barrier. It does happen, but it's a challenge. The best way to go about it is if you've had prior connections and those coaches have since become Division 2 coaches, that's a great one-off and great way to transfer. Really, though, even though as a Division 3 soccer player, you're probably way better than a senior out of high school who's never played soccer, called soccer. While you should be a, like a higher level recruit than them, the system just doesn't do it because it's annoying to transfer, it's difficult, it's expensive, and it's just a lot of work, like a ton of work to transfer. With that in mind, this particular student is ready to put in the work, and so we're going to take this head on. One of the secrets to what I assume our success will be is obviously communication with coaches. We're going to build him a great package, video, email, everything else. But it's that he has full game videos against colleges with college coaches that have all coached at all different levels. Every single team he played against, it's like going on trial with one of those teams. So first of all, that's a no-brainer. We're going to send videos to teams that he played against. If they're in conference, there's a bunch of rules about that in terms of transferring and if you have to sit out a year. The main thing you need to know is that's a huge thing is when you play against the team, that's a huge opportunity because if you do well or if you just do well in a way that the coach likes you, then that's a team you could go play for and you don't have to go to an ID camp. And you don't have to go on trial because you played against their team so they know if you're capable of being good enough to be on their team. The other thing we can do is the college coaches that are pl or that are Division Three that he played against, they all have resumes. They all coach probably at some point at Division One school. So we can reach out to them and say, hey, you saw me play. I'm looking to transfer. Your school's not somebody I'm interested in or I don't know if you're interested in me, but I saw you have a connection with so-and-so. Would you be comfortable connecting me? Maybe they will. Maybe they won't, but there's nothing in harm in asking. Then, of course, I have my people in mind who I would like to help this student get to. And then the big one is he's going to create what's called an every touch video or a timestamp video of every single game he played this year. And we've already done that with my transfer students at the JUCO level, as well as from the Division Three level to Division Two and Division One. And that is massive because, like I said, those coaches you played against all know each other. And if you show that video to other college coaches around the country, they can say to you, wow, that video is very good. It's not ECNL, it's not MLS Next. It's a college game. And that's massive. So that's going to be the secret, I think, to this person getting transferred to the school he wants. If you'd like help with this process because you want to transfer or you just need help getting recruited, call me. Link's in the bio.